بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Whenever we talk about the fire of hell, people are very overwhelmed. People are very kind of frightened and scared. And they're like, you know, how is this some type of a message of inspiration? How is this a message of hope? How is this a message of encouragement? We're talking about hell. We're talking about people trying to kill each other in hell. And then Shaitan is talking, standing up and yelling at these people who are stuck in hell. Like, how is this helpful in any way, shape or form to me? Because they feel overwhelmed by it. But what you have to understand, and this is our short-sightedness that we don't realize this. Where are we reading about this? We're reading about it here and now. So we have every opportunity in the world to avoid this fate. That's the part we miss. Yes, the Quran very powerfully and very, um, you know, overwhelmingly describes the fire of hell. And the torment and the punishment. And it can be very overwhelming. But we're reading about it here and now. It's, we have every opportunity to correct. Make whatever course correction needs to be made. That's the mercy in all of this. So as we sit here and we read about the conversation between people in hell and shaitan. In the fire of hell. Let's, let's, let's figure out what we can do to avoid that particular fate.